Pacific, the Puyuhi War. This war happened in 300 BCE between two empires, the Roman Empire and the Carthaginian Empire. And you might be wondering why this war is called the Punic War. This is because the Romans called the Carthaginians Punics. So that's why it's called the Punic Wars. And why did this happen? Because a group of Italian men who called themselves Mamertines entered an island named Sicily. They invaded the island, which made the ruler of Sicily very angry. And so the Mamertines asked help for the Carthaginians, and the Carthaginians offered help. After that, the Mamertines had to live under the Carthaginian rules, which they didn't like. So they went to the realm to ask for help. The realm did offer them help, and during this process, the First Punic War started. During this war, the Romans had the upper hand in land, and the Carthaginians had the upper hand in the sea. So the Romans lacked in naval strategy, and the Carthaginians were superior. This was because the Carthaginians' main occupation was trading in the seas. So they had a bit of naval tactics and boats. On the other hand, Romans did not have experience in navy. They didn't have a single fleet of ships. For, by fortunately, for the Romans, um, a Carthaginian ship accidentally landed in the Roman shore. You need to know something. Once the Romans face an enemy, they copy their strengths and add a bit of their taste in it. So they copied the boat and added a secret weapon named the Corvus. The Corvus was like a bridge kind of thing, which when two ships encounter, you know, they connected the two ships and the sea battle turned into a land battle which the Romans were superior at. This Corvus was one of the main reasons why the Romans won the First Punic War. And the Carthaginians, at first glance, thought they had no experience and they were not going to win in Navy. But once they meet the Corvus, they got a little worried. Finally, the Romans took over Sicily, and once they declared they're going to the main capital, the Carthaginians declared peace. So the Romans signed a treaty to the Carthaginians asking the island of Sicily and other islands and returning the captured prisoners of Rome and paying them two thousand talents of silver in 20 years. In 2022, that's like 40 million US dollars today. That's a lot. But during the course of this treaty, they changed their plan and then said 3,200 talents of silver in just 10 years. This crippled the economy in the Carthage, which started the Second Punic War. Just to know, the Second Punic War was deadlier than the First Punic War because in the First Punic War, it was just between two countries. But in the Second, there will be oh, alleys and many other things. And the Rome and the Carthage will be learning from their mistakes and this will be a much deadlier war and introduction to Hannibal. He was a commander in the Carthage army. He was a very famous guy. He was deadly. And many people 
lost their lives in the Second Punic War than the First Punic War. It was also longer. Stay tuned for the next video. We will discuss about the Second Punic War in detail. Till then, bye guys!